Music can be used to tell stories, but where does the music come from? And how do the musicians know what to play? Well, I've come to the Sydney Conservatorium of Music to find out more. Let's go. I'm here with Associate Professor Paul Stanhope, a world-renowned composer. Hi, Paul. Hi. Now, what is a composer? A composer is someone who makes up music, and you can make that up in lots of different ways. Right, OK. Is that music in your head? Yeah, that's an interesting idea, isn't it? But yes, the music starts in my head. Sometimes I play it a bit on the piano first so that I can hear it back, and then I put it into music notes like this. Music notes? Yeah. Well, I just see, like, dots and lines and squiggles. But what do they mean? So it's like a bit of a code, isn't it, or another language. And musicians learn from when they're very little how to read these music notes. They are little, like, squiggles which tell the players what to play on their instruments. Mm. And then they practice those notes and they make music from it. So all these notes make up music. Why did you want to become a composer? I've always been fascinated by music, by performing music, by singing music, by playing music. And from a young age, I wanted to write my own music. It felt like a really good way to express your feelings inside of you. And it's also really fun to work with musicians who can play your music. So what inspires you to make the music? Inspiration can come from a lot of places. It can come from a picture could come from a story, it could come from a feeling which is inside of you and you want to try and express that through music. Wow, there's lots of different ways to be inspired and tell the story. Hmm. What techniques do you use in music to tell the story? So some of the things we can do in music is to create a theme that represents a character. So in our C show, there's a melody which represents our character of David, the little boy. Um, and that theme or that melody goes all the way through the piece right. and you can have different melodies to represent different characters. Right. That's an interesting way of telling a story. So you're saying that mm. the character has their own music. That's right, yeah. Wow. So now we have the music. Is there anything else we can do to create the mood mm. to tell the story? I think I might know someone to help us. Let me introduce you to Dr Daniel. Oh, let's find Dr Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hi, Karen. Lovely <laughs> to see you. Good to see you too. I'm here with Dr. Daniel Blinkhorn, who is a multi-international award-winning composer and sound artist. What does your job involve? These days, it involves recording lots and lots of sounds from the world around us. Wow. What kind of sounds do you like to record? Typically going into places where there aren't too many sounds that people make. Right. So environmental sounds, really. So what is environmental sound? Well, that varies from location to location, but to give an example, a few years back I was up recording the sounds of icebergs melting in the North Pole. Wow, there is a sound to that? There is a sound to that. It's a <laughs> remarkable sound. I have a special microphone and that allows me to be able to lower that into the water and all of a sudden, it just opens up into this really amazing, strange, you know, soundscape. It's, it's incredible. What inspires you to, like, you know, create these film scores and soundscapes? I think, for me, it's a very personal thing. Um, I realised that there is so much noise in the world that we're just not hearing the kinds of natural sounds that are out there. Mm. And so I wanted to be able to really focus on those and to be able to tell a story with those and be able to make other people aware of the beauty of the sounds that are around us and the sounds that we get in nature. What kind of techniques do you use to, you know, get that sound, to capture that sound? I, I have a, a whole variety of different kinds of microphones which typically allow me to be able to record these sounds in a kind of special way. So I have some that you can place underwater, others that you can place on the surface of something, and they'll pick up all of these kinds of wonderful sounds. In fact, if I was to put one on the ceiling of this room here, mm. you're going to hear all kinds of amazing sounds that we can't actually hear as we're talking. Oh, wow. Why is sound and music so special to you? Well, it's pretty magical stuff. 
<laughs> I mean, there are uh, sounds that can tell stories. It's it can be very dramatic. It can be sometimes sad. Sometimes it's very happy. I mean, it's it's like I say, it's a pretty magical kind of experience. <laughs> well. I have some friends outside I think would love to learn more about what you do. So would you like to meet them? I absolutely would. That would be fantastic. They'd love that. <laughs> These are my friends. Hey guys, say hi to Paul and Daniel. Hi, hi Paul and Daniel. <laughs> hi. Hello. These guys want to learn more about music. Great. You've come to the right place. Let's get some instruments out. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, everybody. Today, we're going to create some music. We need a theme for our music piece. What are we going to do? I know. We're in a cafe, so why don't we use the cafe? Great idea. Let's make our piece called In the Cafe. Let's make some words up for the cafe. Hmm. Who can think of a word for the cafe? Yep. Egg. What a great thing. I love eggs. <laughs> Shall we write? E, G, G. Okay, let's pick up our mallets and we're going to play E, G, G. E, G, G. E, G, G. Where are we again? Cafe. We're in a cafe. Do you think we could spell that word out? Yeah. Cafe. What are the letters? C, A, A, E. C, A, A, E. Very good. We need to go and get some cafe sounds. I think I need some help from Dr. Daniel. Shall we go with Dr. Daniel? Yes, let's do that. You ready? Now cafe noises, just going blah, blah, blah. And we'll finish with some cafe sounds. And that was in the cafe. Congratulations boys and girls. Why not take this exercise to the park? Or the zoo? Or try emotions like fear? or excitement <laughs> to make a soundscape. We hope you enjoy exploring this exercise at home or in the classroom. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>